Hi, I'm G, this is my art channel, and this is my pigment marker drawing of a red rose. And I decided to try and draw this with just one single colour marker and the white blender to get all the different tones. So you can see me starting out in the top where I normally start out my drawings, nice and careful, and I'm getting some good colour from the magenta red shade that I'm using. Yeah, that's a second layer of tone there, and you can see it's coming out nice and dark and red, and the white blender is just blending in those colours nicely, giving me a nice sort of dark to light range of tones. So enough that I think I can just start going into the middle and I can start laying down these colours and starting to blend them. And just like my drawing, I decided to work from the centre outwards. Uh, not quite sure why I decided to do that, um, but because it was such a small, tight area in there to begin with, that's why you can see me using the fine tips quite a bit. And what I was noticing was a couple of things. First of all, the uh, magenta red shade, the more I used that fine tip, the less intense the colour was getting from it. It started out really nice and dark and red, but it was getting less and less so, forcing me to layer up more and more in the shadows. And the other thing that I noticed was the white blender pen didn't appear to be blending as smoothly and as creamily um, as it has done in the past. It was blending in a very grainy fashion, which made it look a little bit like the clear blender works and it wasn't giving me those kind of smooth creamy colors so i was faced with two problems already with the pigment markers that i was thinking right how do i solve these so the first thing that i did was test the white blender pen on a piece of brown paper to see how it was working and it came out clear so i knew i needed to change that one out because it had run out so I started to use the uh, new white blender pen that I had, and you can see already as I'm beginning to blend those colors together with the white, I'm getting a much smoother, nice creamier kind of color going on, which is exactly the way that the white blender pen should usually work. So what about my problem with the magenta red shade? Well, this was a bit easier. All I did was flip the marker around and start using the chisel tip, because what I found in the past is sometimes the chisel tip can be a bit darker than the fine tip. And look at that, straight away, a stronger, much more intense kind of color. And the first thing I do is pop into all those areas where I need it to be darker shadow, and I put in some of that. Now the chisel tip is quite thick, and you might be thinking, well, how can you get in those tiny little areas with it? But, you know, if you turn it on its side and you angle it a little bit, you can get some very, very fine detail work out of the chisel tip. So now I'm sort of feeling as though I'm a bit more confident with the artwork and I can move on without it causing me so much problems and hopefully enjoy it. So my white mark is working okay now and I'm getting nice dark colours from the chisel tip. So you might be thinking, well, you know, it was looking okay before. Why do you really need that sort of intensity of colour? Well, remember, I'm doing this all with one marker, just one marker and the white blender. So I need to get a really good, strong range of tones out of one colour. And uh, my way of doing that is going to be to layer up the colours. Um, you know, I would do one pass, as you can see, with white um, blender and also the color. And then I'll go back in with the color and put that layer on top of what I've already done and just blend in the edges. So I'm getting a much more intense kind of range of shadows to light areas, which will hopefully give me a kind of a 3D effect to the drawing. So why try and do your drawing with just one single color of marker? Well, I think it's both a challenge and also a simplification. It's a challenge because you've got to try and get all the different tones of this flower out of just one marker and the blender pen. So that is kind of a challenge. Although you could flip that and say, well, isn't that a little bit like doing a pencil drawing? You know, you're used to with a pencil drawing, getting all these different shades of gray and, you know, doing it that way. Doesn't it make it easier? And perhaps you're right. The other thing is, I was going to say, is it is a simplification. When you're just using one single color and you're using, um, you know, the white blender pen to try and get all these different tones out of it, then you are keeping it simple. You're not bogging down your art space with five, ten different markers, different shades of pink and red and so on. Although that can be fun sometimes, sometimes it's fun to just keep it really simple and just have two markers in your hand. So it's getting close to being finished and I looked at the background and I wondered about maybe doing all those different shades of green and stuff, but I've done that before. So I thought what I would do with this one is keep the background nice and stark and white. So you've just got the flower against the white. So there you go, pretty much finished and side by side with the photo for comparison. Um, the pigment markers really tried my patience with this one and I was almost ready to quit. So uh, I'm just glad to get it done. Uh, but let me know in the comments below what you think and don't forget to subscribe, like and share. And also why not check out my previous video if you haven't watched it yet, which is where I drew out the actual rose before colouring. And you can check out my previous pigment marker video, which was an autumn leaf drawn in full colour. And the links for all of those videos are found below. Thanks for watching.